Hi, this is Pavel with a C-sharp exercise and this time we will be creating a vending machine. This is an object-oriented programming exercise. Basically, we will be creating a, a class and some methods inside the class. Uh, first, they want us to create a, a class called ven vending machine. Now, I already created the class. It's right here. It's empty. There's nothing here. Here is the class. So, um, that's the class, and now uh, it will take uh, a type deposited amount, an integer. So, uh, you know what, I'm just going to do it step by step as they want us to do all these, uh, you know, all these uh, parts of the exercise. So, I'm going to create an integer called deposited amount. So, uh, over here, this is just the text of the exercise. All right, so now integer, I'm going to make it private, integer deposited amount. Yay, so we got the first thing out of the way. So now a constructor that takes no parameters, that simply initializes the deposited amount to zero. All right, so uh, let's make a constructor. Oh, except, you know what, I'm writing in, my <laughs> in the main method. I'm supposed to write it in the vending uh, class, vending machine class. So one more time, our private integer deposited amount. Now the constructor will be obviously public vending machine and it takes no parameters so it's just empty and inside it we will de uh, initialize deposited amount to zero just like they want us. So now we initialize it to zero. The uh, class will also have a method, no return value, which basically means that it's going to be a void called deposit coin with a single integer parameter called coin amount. Okay, so uh, let's do the method. So it's going to be public void, and I forgot the name of it. They want us to call it deposit coin. So, deposit coin. And um, inside that, uh, uh, they want us to, the, uh, the method takes a single integer parameter called coin amount. In other words, this is something that the user will enter or pass into this uh, method. So, uh, over here, in the inside of parentheses, we go the integer coin amount. This is the value that will be passed into this method by the user. And this method adds the value passed in the coin amount parameter to the machine's deposited amount field. Okay, so now our deposited amount will now equal the coin amount. So the user passes some coins and we will now add that the, the, those coins into our deposited amount and that's the that's as much money as the user deposits. Okay so it uh, doesn't return anything so that's really all for this this method and now we need to get a method again with no return value called get drink with no parameters. Get drink. All right. So public void get drink. No parameters, so it's empty. So that's our method. And now inside a method, um, okay, this method does one of two things. If the machine's deposited amount is sufficient to cover the cost of drink, okay, so the cost of the drink is seventy-five cents or more. I'm sorry. The, uh, in other words, if the deposited amount is 75 cents or more, then the user can buy the drink. If it is less, then, uh, you know, they, they, cannot, uh, they cannot obviously buy the drink. However, if it's more, then we will calculate the change, which will be deposited amount minus 75 cents. All right, so basically, let's say user ent uh, inputs a dollar, the drink costs 75 cents, so we will calculate a change, which is 25 cents, and write 
your change is 20, 25 cents to the console. And we will reset the deposited amount back to zero, obviously, because you know we will give the change back to the user and reset the deposited amount. Now, if the machine's deposited amount is not sufficient, in other words, if it's less than 75 cents, we will write insert more coins. All right, so um, over here, it's a basic uh, conditional statement. If um, the and we are looking for the deposited amount. So if our deposited amount is uh, greater or equal to uh, 75, because we are doing it in cents. In other words, there won't be like one for one dollar. It will be hundred for you know hundred cents. So if it's greater than 75 cents, user has enough money to buy a drink. So we will simply output. Uh, Then the we will calculate the the change and output. Okay, your change is this many cents. So I will copy paste that. And so over here we will simply output console dot uh, right line. And uh, oops, your change is. And over here it's going to be just a zero currency. No, it's currency, but it's gonna be in cents. So I'll just do a zero. And uh, over here, I will perform the calculation directly. So it's going to be simply the deposited, I mean, it's going to be the 75, yeah, the deposited amount minus 75. In other words, if user deposits 100, so it will calculate 100 minus 75, and it will print 25 here. So your change is 25 cents. But looking at this, um, I'm going to do, they don't ask us to, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, I'm going to do a private constant. Uh, I'm going to ask a constant uh, integer. I'll like call it drink or cost of drink. And I'll assign it the 75 cents value to it. The reason why I do it, so now I can simply uh, come over here and replace this with the cost of drinks rather than writing the actual number cost of drinks. Th this way, if the drink changes to like, uh, let's say hundred, a dollar, then I can change it here and I don't have to come over here and do anything with the code. So we have that, uh, it outputs the change and we have to reset the deposited amount. Now you could do it simply by deposit, uh, you know, to call the deposited amount equals zero that's that's like the instinct but um, what is the better way to do it is rather than dealing directly with the variable this this uh, function already sets the deposited amount now obviously this uh, passes the coin amount that the user enters but you can also pass zero to it and that way the deposited amount will equal zero so over here I will do I will call the method deposit coin and I will pass zero to it. So now it will come over here and it will assign zero to the deposit amount. So uh, that's that and uh, else in other words if the user doesn't have enough money we will do console dot uh, right line insert more coins. But I don't know, I don't want to capitalize it anymore. Uh, so we will in insert more coins. Just a simple message, that's all they want us to do. Yeah, if the if it's not sufficient, less than 75 cents, more coins, insert more coins. Okay, and another method they want us to create is a get refund with no parameters. Okay, so let me do that one. So it's public void get refund no parameters so now that's our method and inside of it they um, this method simply displays you were refunded uh, so I'll copy this how much you were refunded so over here we'll calculate it we'll say your change is 25 cents but if the user doesn't want you know like if you change his mind and uh, doesn't want to you know inserts the money but doesn't want to drink anymore we will refund the whole amount. 
So the refund amount should be the whole deposited amount. And then we will, of course, reset the deposited amount to zero again. So, so over here, user enters the amount of money. And then over here, it's like, oh, no, I don't want to, I don't want to drink. Or it doesn't have enough, you know, it puts only 74 cents, but doesn't have any more. Then he will ask for the refund. And uh, we should give him all his money back. So uh, we will do console dot uh, right line. Uh, you were refunded. And this time I will use the variable deposited amount because I cannot just over here. I would have to pass a parameter. I would have to pass a number to it, but I don't want to pass any, anything. I'm dealing with this directly because I want all the value of this amount directly because it's going to be nullified now. And over here I can call deposit coin again and reset it to zero the same way we did over here. We'll simply pass zero as an argument. So now deposited amount equals zero. OK, so that's our get refund. And that's all ready for this class, obviously. And uh, your main method should create a single instance of your vending machine class. You should then call methods of, on this object to fully test the machine is functioning properly. No need to get input from the user, just hard code instructions. OK, so we will simply go. And we will create the uh, vending machine class uh, machine, and it will equal to new vending machine. No parameters in the constructor. So now we have our object, and now we can access the all these methods. So let's do. But since we created the object, it always calls the constructor. So now the deposited amount equals zero because that's what we we do in our constructor we reset deposited amount to zero so over here i can do some uh, uh, let's say i'm going to deposit the um, some amount of money so i'll call deposit coin so over here i will do that deposit coin and i will deposit let's say 100 a dollar and i will do console that uh, read lines to pause the screen so now, uh, what this is going to do over here, it deposits the coin and it doesn't do anything else. If I run it, nothing is going to, you know, show or happen. That's all, you know, blank screen. Because all we did was deposited the money. Now let's buy the drink. So now I will do the get drink. So uh, vending machine dot get drink. So now it will take the hundred that we deposited. It will check. Okay, now 100 is greater and e or equal than cost of drinks, which is 75, so it's true. So we'll, it will simply output your change is 25 cents, and that's all. And it will reset the uh, value back to zero. So now we should just get your change is 25 cents. And uh, we do. Your change is 25 cents. Okay, so... Uh, Let's say I don't want to. Uh, I don't. I'll pass exactly seventy-five. So now it should simply say your change is zero because it's uh, our drink is uh, seventy-five cents. So your change is zero cents. Now if I do less, seventy-four. Now it should ask me to insert more coins, and it does. Now if I come over here, and I will do. I will do the deposit coin again, and I, let's say I deposit two cents. So now I will have seventy-six. So t uh, it should, you know, give me a drink. The drink is only seventy-five, but it won't. It will ask for more coins. And the reason why it it, it does that is over here we pass seventy-four, and over here we'll set it to two. In other words, we will reset it to two. It's, it doesn't add it to it. Uh, what I need to do is uh, come over here where the deposited amount we start with zero and I will add so plus equal to coin amount so if I run it now it will deposit 74 cents it adds it to deposited amount then it deposits two cents and it adds it to deposited amount which already equals 74 so now it will be 76 and it should display uh, here's your change one cent or something like that 
and your change is one cent. All right. Now, what if I don't want to drink? If I want a refund, so I will do the vending machine dot refund get refund. So what it should do, it should tell me, uh, you were refunded seventy six cents. So let's test that. And what do you know? I was refunded seventy six cents. Now, if we go to our program and over here, I will do. Uh, vending machine dot uh, get drink so I will get the drink it will tell me okay here's your change back one cent and then, then I will ask for refund so but there is no more money because the, re the um, deposited amount now equals uh, z zero but it still tells me you were refunded 76 cents because uh, somewhere along the line I probably forgot to reset the uh, the coins it as it here and uh, it should actually I'm, I'm let me let me do a little debug in here in these two places so uh, here I am the come on the deposited amount and it goes and resets the amount so now deposited amount equals and it still says zero because it's oh because it's still I just, <laughs> okay my bad because the reason is I'm trying to add zero to it so that is it's already e equals 76 and 76 plus zero is still 76 so um, it probably really would be better <laughs> uh, to do it the the original way the positive amount equals zero because now we are adding to it not we are not assigning it just to equal but we are adding to it all right so that's a uh, and like I said if you add zero to anything nothing changes so uh, let's try it again and Remember uh, how, how our program was? Uh, we deposited 74 cents, then two cents, so it's 76. So then we got the drink, so we got your change is one, one cent. Then we tried to get a refund, but now we have your refund is zero because we, we don't have any more money left. We already were given the one cent back. Okay, so now this is a, you know, this is. The, basics of uh, the object orientation you know one class uh, sim very simple uh, methods and uh, uh, you know calling the the methods after you create the object uh, so uh, I hope it helps you and I will see you next time take care